We're going to talk about function tables in this video. This is lesson 12.11. A function table is a chart that matches each number that is put in with a number that comes out. It's like a machine that has a certain job, a function. That's what a function is. It's like a job. If the chart has a function of plus 2, then every number that goes in will have 2 added to it. If the chart has a function of plus 3, then every number that goes in will have a 3 added to it. So we can look at it like a machine, okay? So if this was a function machine of plus 2, then every number that we put in is going to have 2 added to it, and what comes out is going to be 2 larger than what went in. If you put a 5 in, that's going to have 2 added to it, and it's going to come out as a 7. If we put a 4 in, it'll have a plus 2 added to it, and it'll come out as a 6. If we put a 10 in, it'll have 2 added to it, it'll come out as a 12. See? If the function is plus 3, then every number we put in is going to have 3 added to it. See? So we can complete each function table and see the pattern that's made. So here, this function table is times 4. Every number of dog that we put in, we're going to multiply it by 4 to see the legs that it has. So one dog has four legs, right? If we have two dogs, two times four, that's eight legs. If we have three dogs, three times four is 12 legs. So for every additional dog we're putting in, we're multiplying it by four, and that's how many legs are gonna come out. See, we multiply the number of dogs times four legs. You can see the pattern that it makes. Every single number is being multiplied by 4. So what comes out is 4 larger. See? This is a function table of times 2. Cats have 2 ears, so if we put in 1 cat, we're going to multiply the 1 times 2 and have 2 ears. If we put in 2 cats, 2 times 2 is 4 ears. If we put in 3 cats, 3 times 2 is 6 ears. 4 would be 8 ears and 5 would be 10 ears. We're multiplying every single number of cats times 2 ears. And then that's the outcome of how many ears we have. See? We multiply the number of cats times 2 ears. So this entire function table is times 2. That's the function. Okay? And you can see the pattern and the function that's happening. In this table, this is a plus 4. So in these, we did times 4 and times 2. Well, this one's plus 4. Every number that's going in is having a 4 added to it. 1 plus 4 is 5. 2 plus 4 is 6. 3 plus 4 is 7. See? The function stays the same. It's all plus 4. And then the number that goes in has that function happen to it, and then we get a number coming out. This function table is of a plus 5. Every number we put in, 2, 3, 4, 5, we add 5 to it, and that's the number that comes out, see? So a function table can have a function that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So you might work with function tables, and they'll be very easy ones because you're in second grade, okay? You'll get into more difficult ones when you reach middle school, but you'll know what a function table is, okay? It's like a machine that tells you which math operation to do, all right? We've got one last video for second grade math, and hit the like button if this taught you something. And I hope you have a really good day, and I'll see you next video. Bye.